Here we want to solve the trig equation 2 cosine x times sine x equals sine x on the given interval from 0 to 360 degrees, where it's closed on 0 degrees and open on 360 degrees. We can use many of the same algebraic techniques that we use to solve equations on trig equations. So if we were to set this equation equal to 0 by subtracting sine x on both sides, we would have 2 cosine x sine x minus sine x equals 0. Now sometimes we really don't want to have two trig functions in the same equation, but here notice that sine x is a common factor. So if we factor out sine x from both terms, we're left with sine x times the quantity 2 cosine x minus 1 equals 0. So if this product is equal to 0, then either sine x has to be equal to 0, or 2 cosine x minus 1 has to equal 0. So if we can determine the angles on this interval where the sine function value is equal to 0, we would have a solution. And if we solve this equation for cosine x, we'd have cosine x equals positive 1 half. So now if we can determine angles where the cosine function is equal to 1 half, we also have solutions. So to determine these angles, let's go ahead and use a unit circle even though we could also use the reference triangle method. Remember on the unit circle, sine theta is equal to y. So we want to find points on the unit circle where the y coordinate is equal to zero. And the only place that occurs is here. And again, we're only looking for angles on this interval. So we include zero degrees, but not 360 degrees. So we'll use zero degrees since sine zero degrees is equal to zero. And this is one of our solutions. And now we need to determine where the cosine function is equal to one-half on this interval. And on the unit circle, cosine theta is equal to x. So now we'll look for x-coordinates that are equal to positive one-half. And we know the cosine function, or the x-coordinates, will only be positive in the first and fourth quadrants. So we'll look for an x-coordinate of one-half in the first and fourth quadrants. Here's an x-coordinate of one-half, and that angle would be 60 degrees, or pi over three radians. And x is also equal to one half here, where theta would be 300 degrees, or five pi over three radians. So we have x equals 60 degrees and 300 degrees.